Hey everybody! Welcome back to E4 Wealth of Nations, featuring myself as well as Quill, Arumba, and Mathis. Hello. 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 We've already on paused, I see. Yep, yep. Getting right down to business. Good to go. Gonna give them the business. All right, five by five. <laughs> I forget, is that StarCraft? Yeah, in, in the pipe. Well, it's a mm -hmm. reference to yeah. uh, Aliens, I Aliens, think. yes. It's a oh, okay. In the pipe, five by five. Call right. it. I was wondering where that memory came from. Can't wait. Alien game. I want to play it right now. Yeah. Whoa. Well, you can't. I know. What's this all about, Quill? You have far too many colonies. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just uh, figured uh, Sweden might... Uh, I might not have a truce with Sweden. And it, it pulled in France into the war, but I don't think that I'm too worried about France being able to do anything right now. <laughs> I don't know, And man. also Great Britain, which is actually very convenient for me. Keep in mind, my war has not uh, weakened France. They have the same number of troops that they've always had. Right. Well, they're going to siege some of my stuff in Africa. I, I, As sure. always. Apparently, I <clears> lost <throat> a naval battle because I actually got to bring up my huge navy. Go and stomp Britain. What do I even want from... France, man. man. I don't know. I, I would kill for a better general or a better, better ruler. This two, two, mm. one. I am like starving for monarch points. Well, that might be exactly what you have to do. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Hmm. All right, come on. Let's select here. I know you're laggy. It's okay. You can do it. I have faith in you, game. When you make a ruler your uh, general, does it just generate randomly the the uh, ticks for like or the pips for shock and stuff like that, or is it based on the military stat that they have? I I think like, it's like random. Genetic. Uh, yeah, I think it's based on your tradition. I think they're a normal general, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if it was based on their actual military stat, but if it is, it's kind of news to me. Because I always assumed it was, but it doesn't seem to work that way. Yeah, because yeah, had... like the the king of Burgundy when you are at the game start is like some kind of like godly ruler, right? So yeah. I always assumed that that's why so many. Well, the AI has a tendency to make him a general and get him killed. Or is he programmed to have like kidney disease or something? Because right? <laughs> he, he dies a lot. Why? Why are you getting so many claims on me, Northern Line? What's up with that? I got a claim on you? Yeah, you just got a mission. You got an event. <laughs> it was an event. <laughs> it's like the, like I plead the fifth. It's like, why uh, caught you fabricating a claim on, uh, you know, Brezegal? It was an event. What do you want me to do? Lose money? Hmm. Doesn't just matter. The answer to that question. Might your, be yes. Yeah. <laughs> your event doesn't matter. It doesn't affect me. That's true. Well, Kara Kanulu might not just exist in a minute. Oh my god, too many pop-ups because I'm moving my troops around. There'll be, like, important stuff hidden in here that I won't see. <laughs> Woo! Pretty soon you won't even be matter. It's Men in Black. Okay, good, good reference, bro. It's a good movie. It's so long since I've seen that. <laughs> Men in Black 1's pretty solid. I think I saw two, but not three. There was a third one, right? Like, Yeah, it's one of those rare trilogies, actually, in that well, the first one's the best. The second one is, like, pretty trash. But the Men in Black 3 is okay. Yeah, I liked it. That's a ringing endorsement. It is, it's not as good as the first one, in my opinion, but it's entertaining and uh, Far and definitely way better than the second, the second one. one. Yeah, the second one was just... Ugh. Oh, there's no actual... Let me see. I have a feeling that Russia is going to take all of Kara from you, Mathis. <laughs> yep, nope, that's how it's looking right now. Russia is just like, yeah, I'm just going to take everything. Well, we should all Mine. join the coalition against Russia. Um, coalition wars are annoying and sucky. Let's you can only take things you have claims on. We'll, see well what that's not do. a problem for me. I can fabricate, you know, all day, every day. Yeah. Be squeezed back into my sausage case. Excuse me? 
You heard me. Not on camera, please. <laughs> Do 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 do. Stupid rebels. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> okay, I don't know how the rebels are prioritizing territory to go into. Kind of being annoying. What kind of rebels are they? Uh, English patriots. Then they probably want to be reunited with England. Yeah, but they went and, like, killed the army in Derby and then left there. Well, I guess because they weren't sieging. Right, because it was English territory. All right, I'm being a derp. I guess it they, all makes perfect sense. They're usually pretty smart. Uh, Northern Lion, you let me know before you uh, peace out with France there, right? Oh, sure, yeah, why? Because I'm at war with them. Oh, I didn't know, actually. Yeah, I declared on Sweden, who were in the uh, coalition against me. Ah, it makes sense. So... I'll just, like, come in and sit on the stuff when it's time sure. to do so. I'm, I'm getting very close. I got the cleansing the heresy, uh, Casas Bella against Russia, guys, so <laughs> whenever you're ready. <laughs> well, we are allied. <laughs> yeah, my war with France will be over very, very soon. I'm um, already moving troops back. They barely took any of Kara. They took the northern part of Kara. So, oh, that's annoying, but. Alright, you guys will make up the western fronts, and you will make up the eastern fronts. And now you're gonna go eat the rest of them. Got it, makes sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm just taking a, a small bite, a piece. Yeah. I'm just a, hung I'm a, hung a little hungry, that's all. <laughs> Just a nibble. Just, Just a stay tip? away for a thin. What? Yes. Game's starting to get a little framey for me. Like, there's, yeah, there's too many too. wars happening. Yeah, there's a lot of units, and it's just network lag, I think. Yeah. So, Arumba, if you could, like, stop going over your war quota <laughs> so that we could all play the game. <laughs> You're blaming it on my, my unit count? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I don't have that many. We need like a cut down to size CB. <laughs> Seems conceivable. That's in Victoria, right? And it like lowers their force limit or manpower. Yeah, yeah cut down to size. Yeah, it's pretty good. I know it from the two wars I fought in Victoria. You've played Victoria? I have played. I played about five, five or six hours. How'd it about go? Four and a half of it was just like speed four, not pausing. And being like, oh, my literacy rate's going up. <laughs> Good. Yeah, the game does kind of run by itself quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Especially if you go with this sort of uh, laissez-faire capitalism kind of setup. You just click all the subsidy buttons. All right, I'm going to pause for a sec. And negotiate a piece. So I'm about to exit the war. Mm okay. So you can be prepared. It's well, expensive. Not prepared. It's expensive. Mm, it's my overextension. Oh, that's high. That is high overextension. Especially considering I still have 36% overextension as is. All right. Apologies for taking a second here. But no worries. Peace is like, you don't want to F that up. Right. So I want to take about 64 or less percents. So I bet I can take like. That in one small province. No. Why are these French lands so good? Oh, I'm not going to actually be able to take any decent stuff off Portugal because Porto is still their goddamn capital. It's really Six, annoying. Eight. Oh, come on. Berries. 28. Cheap French provinces. Google cheap, cheap French provinces. <laughs> That sounds dirty. All right. Now, instead, I'm just going to take two really expensive French provinces. I love, I like my uh, colonial nations, though. Every time I go to one of these wars, they just randomly siege a few provinces here and there. And then I'm going to negotiate peace. It's like, oh, two war score, two war score, two war score. <laughs> I'll take all these things. Nom, nom, nom. 
Although it does cost 50 Diplo points because I don't usually have uh, claims on them. But I don't usually have to core them. Um, Jesus. Where the heck is that? Okay, sure. Why not? That's what you want to hear in a peace deal. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? What's the point of revoking cores? Like, that'll keep them from attacking me if I revoke cores that they have on my land. Yeah, I think it does it also have an impact on, like, rebellions and things, too. Mm -mm. Maybe. If there's no foreign cores, maybe not. But yeah, it's well, not usually worth spending the points on, but if right. there's nothing else, I, I'll usually throw some of those in. I guess it could do uh, nationalists, yeah. Could, maybe it could prevent nationalist rebels. Just make you right. pe peasant rebels or something. Yeah, which are go. easier to beat up. Here we go. I could have seen, like, what? Okay, what changes? So I know I only took walk into. two provinces. But Lorraine exists. Right, I also freed Lorraine. <laughs> right away. Yeah, I know, They're right? Friends. <laughs> they have an ally already? They do? No. They do not. Sounds good. You're making 312 ducats per month. Oh, because of the spoils of war. Shouldn't put it in your uh, in your income like that. It scared me in a good way. <laughs> what is this income? It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's in incredibly temporary. Yeah, it's like 300 ducats. That's a lot. Do events still fire and like offer money based on your instant income? So like if you did spoils oh, war and an event, it would like cost a lot or give you a lot? I think in this current version of the game it does, but they're patching that. And yeah, to do like a running average or something like that, which would That's obviously really be a lot better. So uh, Arumba, any idea how long this uh, like desire for liberty event is? No. No clue. Too long. It seems to just last forever. Yep. Sure does. Can sell France back at war with the Hansa. Well, <laughs> I mean, you were already at war for a while. Right, right, right. Because of reasons. Forgot about that. Oh, I have exiled troops. Oh, yeah, I meant to tell you, you got some black flag going on. Yeah, it's all good. I'll live. Black flag, just on your cheek. Nope, the <laughs> other cheek, the other side. Okay, there you got it. <laughs> so, you guys want to go to war with Russia soon? Soon? It's a little hard to say. Let's go to war with Russia soon. Soon? Kind of busy. Plus, I do have a truce with them. Yeah, that's all right. It's soonish. I would love to see Russia die. It's rough, man. Yeah, jeez. Wow. I I just don't like them very much. What? What? <laughs> just mean. It's all. It's very quite rude. Man, you know, I I couldn't imagine at this point. Going back to the game with five year truces would just be insane. <laughs> the, like the rate at which you could conquer things, it would just be so fast. You've been converted. Yeah. yeah. I'm kinda I'm kinda used to the fifteen years. I do feel like it's it's not bad. You were very adamant against it initially. Because we're still crushing face. You just have to think a little bit harder about like how to get people to like different ways to get into wars like oh yeah in sweden just now yeah it, it completely backfired like it doesn't work in any way at all like what how they wanted it to um well, we're we still do no, no no we still do exactly the same thing i mean you just go to war every five years you go off and you go to war every every single year just to clear war and protectorates and other stuff but no that's true it doesn't right, where's my actual navy with my transports it doesn't really have, stop you all right, I got too many pop-ups. All right, I got you guys here. Do I have another navy? No? Yes? I don't know. God! I got too much stuff. All right. 
I gotta get this blanket siege going before France like gets a two stack going and kills my <laughs> hundred stack. Oh, Quill, you just got like two prestige. What were you gonna? I was gonna kind of claim the throne button and just see what oh happened. My God. <laughs> Your air is only seven. It seemed like it could be fun. But uh, yeah, can't, Not so can't much. be done. I guess I do have a week. Oh, are you? There. What the hell, Mathis? What? Did you declare like a no CB war against Lorraine? No, they're heretics. God damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so good. <laughs> you have religious ideas? Yeah. <laughs> damn. I'll have to tell you, man. Well played. They're, they're following the wrong religion. I'm showing them the way. <laughs> hey, whoa, hey. Remember when, when, when everyone thought that, like, Venice was, you know, not going to be a threat? I'm not a threat. I'm the smallest out of all of us. And you're showing I'm, some chops here. I'm fucking, like, playing like a hyena. I'm going after the scraps. Come on, call me in. No, <laughs> what? No, you're in a military alliance with them. That's what I mean. I'm oh, hoping they'll call me in. Fuck you. Are you serious? Of course. Of course I'm, they'll call I'm them not... in. No, no, no. Northern Lion, this is where... All you have to do, do they have a what's their opinion of you? It's 55. 71. Get him to a get him to get him to 100 and then just enforce peace. I don't know if I can do it in time. It's easy. Send him a gift. They're one province minor. All right. Mathis, you better assault. I don't know how. <laughs> what guys? What are we doing here? You got, <laughs> you got a dumb and dumber over here. <laughs> I see a, I see a detach button. There's an assault button in the bottom. Oh, it's right it's above. Him. Right above Where? the uh, cannons. Right above the cannons? What are you talking about? <laughs> there, oh. At the bottom, when you click in the province, there's an assault button on near the bottom. When you look at it. siege progress? Doesn't matter. I think he just did it. No, there I didn't. You. It just, I, I oh, you lucked won? out. Northern Lion. I can't believe you let him have that. <laughs> I didn't see it until it was too late. Where's oh, I should not be infiltrating administration anymore. That could have backfired real quick. Did it? You have been warned. Come on now. Are you <laughs> serious? Italy doing some more warning bullshit? No, that was fucking Prussia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny. Next time, when I free something from France that borders you, I'm gonna <laughs> warn you in advance, and then... Uh, well, you freed them, that I thought wouldn't, you just wanted them that, to be an independent nation. That wouldn't have mattered, <laughs> unless... Wait, did, does they border you as well? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I didn't see that. What Apparently I've just... for, man? There's a ten-year piece there. You no, I was... <laughs> I was gonna fabricate claim, and then I guess I would have had a piece uh, breakage, you're right. Normally when you Still. release a nation, it's because you want to vassalize them. Yeah. You have... You revoked your guarantee on me, alright? Yep. Yep. All hell's about to break loose. You guys gonna fight each I, other? I, it wouldn't be much of a fight. I just want grass. <laughs> you just want, I want to roll. Yeah, well, we all want things we can't have. Yeah, apparently. You know that better than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh October 18th. Things are starting to happen. We're running out of targets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I made a new target. It was gobbled up instantly. <laughs> I don't know why you made a new target. That's a 10 year target. <laughs> You're insulting me. All right. That's a 10 year target. If I didn't grab that, you didn't think fucking Quill was going to jump on that or or a Roomba was going to eat that as soon as he had time. After oh, you yes. free it, you do have a 10 year truce timer with the the country you freed? Yeah, I hovered over it and said he had a peace with you. Mm, okay. What I should have yeah. done instead of fabricating a claim, I should have just like rushed a royal marriage and and the alliance and then uh Protected huh. them until I could vassalize them. Yeah, they're the fabricating a claim on me. First thing you do is do an alliance. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was my bad. I, 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 I just thought from this kind of nonsense. I thought I was I thought I was rushing against Italy there before he jumped in, but it was you. It was you all along. Yeah, I my didn't alliance even... must have come after two months. But then who was phone? <laughs> I didn't even consider attacking him. I forgot about the CB. That was good call, Mathis. Yeah. Even though you don't know where the assault button is. I still don't know where it is. <laughs> Under the cannons is all I know. And above, I don't see anything. above the cannons. <laughs> above the cannons is a skull that just says this is current monthly attrition. No, when you're at war and you have the you have a nation, I'm not. Okay, I'm, 
I give up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be helped. You can't be saved. It's too, too far gone. Uh, I've learned everything I'm going to learn about this game at this point. Yeah. I'm at, I'm at my ceiling. Don't worry. No one in the comments is going to criticize you for that. Oh, I stopped reading the comments like episode 10. <laughs> it's a long time ago since I've read the comments. What's the best kind of infantry out of all the, the colored coats? Mm, Which kind of red ones go faster? Yeah, nothing to do with the uh, <laughs> the type of pips they have. It's all about the color, right? Well, I just for easy identification. Alrighty. Don't red know. coats go faster. Yeah. That's all I need to know. It's like the orcs in a Warhammer 40k. Orcs go faster. Well, the red one. Orcs are psychic. Their technology doesn't actually work, but they think it works. <sighs> That's what their entire basis <sighs> of everything is. And uh, <laughs> they think that the color red is faster, so the cars they paint red actually go faster. All right. Well, it's, it's amazing. It's my, my favorite thing ever. It's very silly. I love it. We are done with this episode. If you enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Come back tomorrow for another episode, the last episode in which we know what we're talking about because this is the last episode that we're going to record this week. Yep. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you soon.